ഗ്രേഡ് എയ്റ്റ് ഫിസിക്സ് ചാപ്റ്റർ ഫ്രിക്ഷൻ മോഡ്യൂൾ ടു ഒബ്ജക്റ്റീവ്സ് അറ്റ് ദ എൻഡ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് മോഡ്യൂൾ യു വിൽ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു ലിസ്റ്റ് ദ അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജസ് ഓഫ് ഫ്രിക്ഷൻ ലിസ്റ്റ് ദ ഡിസ്അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജസ് ഓഫ് ഫ്രിക്ഷൻ frictional force plays an important role in our daily life in some cases friction is useful and we want to keep it but in other cases friction is harmful and we wish to reduce it so friction is called a necessary evil we will now discuss the advantages and disadvantages of friction in detail one by one advantages of friction friction is necessary because it helps us in performing many of our daily activities friction is useful to us because of the following advantages the first one friction enables us to walk without slipping We are able to walk on ground because friction between the sole of our shoes and ground prevents us from slipping over the ground. This happens as follows. In order to take a step forward during walking, we lift one foot off the ground and push the ground backwards with the other foot. If there were no friction between the sole of our shoe and ground, then our shoe on the ground would slip backwards since we push the ground backwards the force of friction acts in the opposite direction forward direction and prevents our foot from slipping backwards the second one is friction enables a car to move on road without skidding The friction between tires of a car and the road enables a car to move forward on road without skidding. If there were no friction between the car tires and road, then the wheels of a car would spin at the same place but the car would not move forward at all. The car would stay where it was. And the next one friction enables us to apply brakes and slow down or stop a moving car the brakes of a car work by friction in a disc brake a steel disc attached behind each car wheel spins between the two small brake pads when the brakes are applied to the running car by pushing the brake pedal the brake pads press against the disc of the rotating car wheels this produces friction between brake pads and disc making the wheels to slow down and ultimately stop the brakes of a bicycle also work by friction the next is friction enables us to write and draw on paper We are able to write and make drawings on a paper because there is friction between the tip of a pencil and pen. We cannot write with a pencil on a glass sheet because the glass surface is very smooth due to which the friction between the tip of a pencil and glass surface is much less. This friction is not sufficient to rub off black graphite particles from the tip of pencil. and the next one and the next one is friction enables us to pick up and hold things in our hands nails can be fixed in a wall due to friction we are able to fix nails in a wall due to friction when we hammer a nail into the wall it is the friction between the surface of nail and wall which holds the nail tightly in the wall without friction nails cannot be fixed in a wall to hold things nails and screws are also held in wood by friction 
The next is friction enables us to light a matchstick. When we rub a matchstick against the rough surface of a matchbox, then friction between the head of matchstick and rough side of matchbox produces heat. This heat burns the chemicals present on the head of matchstick due to which the matchstick lights up. So the matchstick catches fire and starts burning. The burning of a matchstick would not be possible without friction. And the next is friction enables us to cut wood with a saw. We are able to cut wood because there is friction between the saw blade and log of wood. If there were no friction between the saw blade and log of wood, then cutting of wood would not be possible. Like this, there are lot of advantages for friction. So friction is necessary for our life. Now, let us discuss about the disadvantages of friction. Friction causes objects to wear away. Tiny pieces break off a surface when it rubs against another surface. The wear and tear due to friction can happen quickly or slowly depending on the nature of materials of the two surfaces. Friction is harmful to us and considered as an evil because of the following disadvantages. The first one is friction wears away the soles of our shoes. That is, when we walk on the road, there is friction between the soles of our shoes and the surface of road. When the soles of our shoes rub against the rough surface of road, then tiny pieces of the soles keep on breaking off slowly, due to which the soles of our shoes wear out gradually. The wear, the wear and tear of the soles of our shoes ultimately causes holes in the soles. The shoes get damaged and become unfit to wear. And the next is, the tires of vehicles wear out gradually due to friction. When the vehicles like cars, buses, trucks, etc run on the road, there is friction between the surface of tires and the surface of road. The rubbing of tires with road keeps on breaking tiny pieces of rubber from the tires surface gradually. Ultimately, the threads present on the surface of the tire are worn out and the tire becomes baldy. The tires of bicycles also wear out gradually due to friction with the road. The next is, friction wears out the rubbing machine parts. There are many moving parts in machines like gears etc. which rub against each other constantly. Due to friction, the rubbing parts of a machine wear out gradually. The next is, friction wears out the brake pads of vehicles gradually. When the brake pads of a vehicle are applied, a lot of friction is produced between the brake pads and moving part of the wheel. This friction wears out the brake pads gradually. The next is, friction wears out steps of staircases in buildings and foot over bridges. Friction wears out steps of staircases in buildings and foot over bridges. When a lot of people use the staircase in a building every day, the friction of Friction wears out steps of staircases in buildings and foot over bridges. Friction wears out steps of staircases in buildings and foot over bridges. When a lot of people use the staircase in a building every day, 
the friction between soles of their shoes and the stone steps wears away hard stone step very very slowly many times we see worn out steps of foot over bridges at railway stations this is due to friction and the next is the next disadvantage is friction produces heat which may damage machines if we rub our hands together quickly for a few seconds they feel warm this is because friction between the hands produces heat similarly when we operate a mixer grinder for a few minutes its jar become hot here again heat is produced by friction when the moving parts of a machine rub together a lot of heat is produced due to friction between them this heat may damage the machine gradually the next is friction reduces the efficiency of machines some of the energy supplied to a run machine is wasted in overcoming friction between its moving parts and some of the energy is wasted in heat generated by the machine this wastage of energy reduces the efficiency of a machine and the last one is friction slows down motion friction reduces the motion of moving parts of a machine in fact all the moving things such as cars buses aeroplanes boats and ships are slowed down by friction in this module you have learned about the advantages of friction and the disadvantages of friction